Germany's Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht has ignited a political controversy with a New Year message posted on her personal Instagram account. She says the war in Ukraine has brought her fascinating experiences and meetings with wonderful people. Her tone sparkled, uh, so, sparked rather, a social media uproar as well as calls to resign. The ministry says the video is the minister's private affair. War is raging in the middle of Europe. For me, this meant that I gathered many special impressions. There were many encounters with interesting and wonderful people. For this, I wish to express my heartfelt thank. Now, let's bring in DW political correspondent Hans Plant. Hans, what's been the reaction to this video? Well, the reaction has been uh, wide. There's been uh, an enormous reaction, one might even say, partly possibly because this is the beginning of the year and not much else is, much else is happening. It's ranged from derision to anger to uh, calls for resignation, especially from uh, the opposition. Um, the controversy uh, is around the fact that uh, she is standing in front of uh, fireworks and talking about the war in Ukraine, didn't mention Ukraine, didn't mention any sympathy for Ukraine, didn't really talk about her role in the situation. Uh, it was a total miscommunication. And, uh, and so, yes, there has been uh, a lot of calls for her reaction, uh, for her resignation or for her firing, while from the government side, uh, there has been a ref refusal to comment uh, on the situation. And there's been no support at all from her political party. Mm. Now, talk to me about the political background of this controversy here in Germany. Well, she is the German defense minister at a time when there is a war in Europe, when the German army needs to be refurbished drastically with 200 billion euros that have been uh, assigned for that. Uh, a German army that plays a, a major role in NATO in Europe, a German defense minister who has to play a major role in Europe. Uh, and, uh, of course, there is always the question of weapons that Germany uh, has been supplying and should be supplying in future to Ukraine, uh, something uh, about which she has talked often and not has, uh, has not been very clear in her position. So she's at a central uh, position within the German government. And uh, as such, uh, this kind of uh, miscommunication by her really reflects on the entire government and on her role as defense minister. Mm. Hans, you mentioned uh, Germany's weapons deliverers. Let's get an idea of Germany's military aid to Ukraine before we come back to you, Hans. As the war drags on, the Ukrainians' weapon stocks are running down. Kyiv has repeatedly called for the West to help. Apart from the energy aid, of course, Ukraine still needs more weapons and ammunition. Because the best way to protect our civilians from Russian terror is to defeat Russia. Can Germany send more military hardware? From the start, Olaf Scholz's answer has been consistent. We try to supply weapons that are helpful and can be used. We have done that in the past and we will continue to do that. The successes of the Ukrainian army show that we have supplied effective weapons, anti-tank weapons, anti-aircraft weapons, a lot of ammunition. So far, Germany has delivered around 2 billion euros worth of military equipment. That's only a tenth of the amount committed by the United States, but it is the largest EU contribution. Among the arms sent by Berlin, Iris T long range air defense systems, whose value has increased given Russia's concentration on airstrikes. Germany has also sent key battlefield weapons like Mars 2 rocket launchers and Panzer Haubitzer 2000 self propelled howitzers. In both cases, a lack of spare parts has caused delays when those systems needed repair, but they have been effective and more have been promised. What Ukraine really wants, though, is state-of-the-art heavy tanks like the Leopard 2. These, they say, would help win the ground war. The German government has so far refused, pointing out that other NATO countries have also not provided the most modern tanks. Instead, Berlin has delivered leopards to NATO allies, like these supplied to Czech forces in December, part of an exchange deal under which the Czechs sent Soviet-designed T-72 tanks to Ukraine. Evidence, according to the Chancellor, that Germany is doing its bit. 
Together with our friends and partners, we have resolutely supported Ukraine. With money, humanitarian aid and also with weapons. We will continue this support for as long as it is needed. The US has now agreed to send Ukraine Patriot air defense systems, some of its most advanced weapons. The German government has offered its Patriots to NATO member Poland, but so far says it cannot spare any for deployment in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Kyiv continues to ask the West for more of those powerful weapons. Much of what it has seems unlikely to make the decisive difference in this war. Hans Brandt is still with me. Hans, Defence Minister Christine Lambrecht has been under fire since taking office more than a year ago. And after this latest controversy, do you think that she will be able to keep her position? Well, she was involved in another controversy uh, earlier this year, for instance, when she took her son along on an official trip on a government helicopter, something which she defended afterwards. And there have been several occasions when her statements on weapons supplies to Ukraine have been regarded as inappropriate. Yet at the same time, one has to say she is in a key position in government at the moment, and it's a very difficult time for uh, Olaf Scholz, the chancellor, to exchange his uh, defence minister to replace her because of all the tasks that are ahead, because of all the difficult decisions that have to be made. But one has to say it's clear, or it's been very uh, characteristic today, that there has been no defence of her from her own party. Nobody has been rushing to defend the defence minister today. So it does seem as though her position is somewhat tenuous at the moment. DW political correspondent Hans Brandt there. Thank you, Hans.